every opportunity to make something that's going wrong right. Better call Bacon. Online bill pay gone wrong. A Sun City Center couple scheduled their payment online, but a simple mistake of a missing decimal point meant they overpaid a lot. By thousands, in fact. And when they couldn't get their money back after six long weeks, they knew they'd better call banking. Shannon joining us now to talk a little bit more about this. You, you do this every once in a while. You have a story about someone mm -hmm. on the point here and a point there, and it's a disaster for some of these folks. It really is. I mean, just imagine that sinking feeling of knowing that thousands of dollars is now missing from your bank account. Fixing this shouldn't have taken them this long. And in fact, less than 24 hours after I got involved, I'm told the money is in the mail. But as a mistake was made, let's just reverse it. What a difference a decimal point makes. Janine Doherty found that out the hard way. I saw that they took out, instead of $29.13, they took out $2,913. You heard right. Janine overpaid her AT&T phone bill by a whopping $2,883.87. That turned into essentially an interest-free loan for the phone company. Did you ever dream when you made this mistake that 42 days later you wouldn't have your money back? No. Janine tells me she's talked with 12 AT&T employees, was promised a check, then a prepaid gift card, then this solution. They said, absolutely nothing is going to happen. You may not get your money back. You should just leave it there and let, let, let us take your ensuing bills out of it. Well, for that kind of an overpayment, it would have taken me approximately nine years. Uh, no thanks. Janine wants her cash back. So why did you decide to call me? Because I can't get anywhere. I can't get to that next level. She's well, I can. Quickly, I had the attention of AT&T's corporate office. It's been like 42 days today, and she still can't get her money back, and she's tired of giving AT&T an interest-free loan. The next day, a spokesman from the company's office of president so called to I say the records. refund is in the mail. A spokesman for AT&T said they can't just put the money back in her bank account easily because the account numbers are hidden from customer service representatives, and that's why they tell me they need to send this prepaid gift card. She doesn't care how the money arrives. She just wants it back. I don't get it. I don't know why she just didn't wait the nine years. I mean, really. Yeah. Well, it's a deal, right? <laughs> I'm joking. That's awful. What a horrible idea this person had. But she was told she was going to get this check, and then she's offered to keep this credit balance. And yeah. What's going on there? She it's got all lots of stories. And I asked the AT&T spokesman about that, and I asked him about that nine years and this mm -hmm. interest-free loan that she ended up giving him. He said there were a lot of mistakes here made, and he is going to make sure that this doesn't happen again. There's a training opportunity for the folks that answered those phone calls, I think, and hopefully the money will be here soon, and you know I'm going to stay on it. Yeah, training opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Shannon. I can't wait to see uh, the result when she actually gets that money back. If you have a problem that needs to solve, you better call Bank of the telephone number, 1-855-BANKIN.